the images of migration today um, are so different and so pitiful, really, when we think about the traditional migrant. We think about a person who has come on a leaky boat to die in the Mediterranean waters or to um, starve to death in the desert between Mexico and, and the US. Migrants today have become the socially acceptable face of discrimination. Um, it is almost a normal part of, of life to conceive that irregular migrants who are the ones that are caring for our children when we're not home, who are the ones that are cleaning our hotel rooms or picking the fruit um, that we can then buy cheap in the supermarkets, that it's acceptable that they will be discriminated against. Um, we consider it acceptable that they can be socially excluded, um, not live in the same areas that we live in. Um, not, their children will not be allowed to go to school. If they're ill, they don't have access to health care. Um, nobody really cares whether they're homeless or are living in very, very inadequate housing. The images that come to mind of the socially excluded are, are very powerful symbols that the migration policy of the world has gone wrong um, and governments aren't really taking enough notice and aren't really giving enough attention um, to, to these problems. What I would like to see is governments coming together, talking together in the rooms, which include migrants in their discussion, which include the business and employers in their discussion, um, include NGOs and academics, talk on the basis of real data and evidence, um, to be able to bring a voice back to the people that we have somehow decided are allowed to be voiceless. Um, these discussions are not happening. These discussions, uh, such as they are, happen only between governments where they want to. They address issues that aren't really the problem. They talk about the movement of highly skilled um, workers, when the issue really isn't the fact that IT professionals from some districts of India can move to Germany easily. The issue is that the poor, unskilled manual labourer from Bangladesh comes into India and is subject to horrific abuse and discrimination. And we really believe that the human rights framework has a place to play in this because it doesn't accept discrimination as normal. It is in fact one of the absolute um, violations of, of the rights of migrants to discriminate um, against their fundamental well-being.